And with that said, hello and welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Chachi Sanchez. I'll be your guide through the verse, and this is VR Citizen. So, uh, tonight's episode, we're going to be doing some flight combat sim, but after watching the past footage and in my pursuit to make what you guys see ever better, um, I'm going to try to tweak a couple of things on the FOV and what it looks like on your end. Um, that's usually a big problem in VR for me is getting the audience to see exactly what I see in a way that doesn't make them sick or isn't disorienting. So currently what you're looking at is um, uh, the game feed on my desktop, which is running in 1440p. And that is basically being projected onto my headset, which is why I have to run it at 115, 114 FOV to make it look so wide to where it fits nicely to where the other settings that I curve it, you know, make it look a little bit more depthy and VR-y. So uh, with that all said, we're gonna try to change the feed to have a little bit more close up view of exactly what I see in the headset. And then that should allow you guys to see some of the combat flight action as far as me shooting the reticle and stuff a lot better. Uh, with that in mind, thank you guys very much for doing the voodoo that you do down low. I'm going to try to keep it up on my end and just make every video better and better, if possible. Speaking of, if there's literally anything you want to see particularly in VR with Star Citizen, uh, let me know in the comments. If not, uh, thank you for dropping by and enjoy the show. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is normally what you guys see, which is exactly what's coming off of my desktop. This is the older, kind of more zoomed in view when I had all the blown up chat and stuff like that. So the goal is to make this blown up view, but with the clarity of this. So with that said, um, uh, give me just one sec here. I think I know an easy way to do that once I get a little bit further into space. Okay, so, I think we got it. Hopefully that is basically more akin to what you guys, or what I'm looking at, uh, shown to you guys a lot better. Uh, again, this is the desktop feed, and then this is basically what I'm limited to in the field of view that I'm directly looking at in my headset. Now, if I hit the middle mouse button, the feed shrinks like this in my headset and then I can actually look around at my corners and stuff. So, I uh, technically have both views in my headset, but when I'm flying around in, in full VR, this is what it looks like to me. Uh, kind of a tight frame with that wide field of view. So, yeah. It's, it's hard to explain what it looks like in VR, but I hope that this kind of, you know, helps demonstrate some things. I don't know. Let's go get a, a what you call it, a big powerful uh, s heavy fighter and uh, yeah, let's go do some combat stuff. Give the old slip and dip. And we're down. Cool. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. So yeah, you might notice with the uh, tight angle, I can't actually see my chat. That's why I use that middle mouse button to zoom out the uh, frame. Can't see my ammo or health or any... Oh, that was... That's... That's close. That's about as close as you're going to get, parking-wise. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, I can't see any of the uh, HUD stuff because I can't resize the uh, ratio of the HUD itself. If I were able to do that, then VR would be nearly perfect besides losing a lot of depth that it once had. <clears throat> but uh, for now, let's go get the uh, Vanguard Harbinger and let's go get some combat done. 
show you guys the action up close. Please feel free to hop by. I'm mainly hyped for IAE and the new ships and vehicles we'll see. Yep, the um, uh, Drake Cutter and stuff looks really, really interesting. Nice little flying van that you could live in space down by a river with. <laughs> Alright, so this is how y'all have been seeing me do flight combat and whatnot. Um, a little bit hard to track on the action, especially with what I'm shooting. So now this is the zoomed in view of what I actually am able to see, and as you can tell, it is a lot more suitable for flight combat when you get things going. Alright, we're gonna fly right through, we're gonna tag and pull. Okay, so there's the hammerhead. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Okay, so there's a hurricane. I'm gonna hopefully get him to pull away here. I'm gonna immediately try to take care of him with two of these. Break down the shield and then we'll switch straight to a stalker. This torpedo should do well. All right, two good hits. Got low shields. I'm gonna go in manually here. Why is my stick barely responding? Yo, that's no good. Here we go. We got lock. All right, here we go. All right, that's one bodyguard down. Another hurricane. Oh, shit. And that's the dangers of fighting in the asteroid field and why you want to pull them away from it. Huh. Transfer the implant, confirm. Then we need to figure out where our ship is parked and then go back to it. There we go. And then put that dedicated on comms so nothing else gets interrupted by enemies saying stupid stuff. <clears throat> yep, that's whack. I, yeah, I wish that. I hope with PES they're able to get the MFDs to save because my god, that would make. That'd make me a happy boy. Honestly, that'd make me almost as happy as if they were to finally get a goddamn working map. Okay. Swap to something faster here. Yeah. Maybe if I swap over to um, uh, my Hornet and deck it out, we might be able to do our circle strafing around it. But this thing is too slow to actually complete that maneuver successfully without just getting picked at and picked off. All right, cool. So we'll go repair at Grim Hex. We'll get the kill on this and then that actually does sound like a good idea 
I want to fly with the Hornet, and I want to get the nose cannons, and I want to be able to track Gimbal with those. And I think that'll be uh, pretty interesting to watch from the cockpit and VR. So, yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, these launch one at a time. They take a while to triple fire. Shit! Alright, he's been hit and he's weakened. Let's try to go in and finish the job now. Full recharge on weaponry. Come on, come on, recharge, recharge. No, that's what engines, god damn it. Oh shit, there we go. Boom, easy peasy. <laughs> Lemon squeezy. Let's go reload our missiles and do another one. <laughs> All right, not bad. I like it when the AI bugs out. We can actually get up close and uh, poke him. I'm going to pretend that that was my torpedoes and missiles damaging his internal systems and shutting down his weaponry. That's my head cannon. I'm not a missile spammer. What are you talking about? That was surgical and precise. <laughs> All right, so everything is a gimbaled weapon. Size 2, gimbal right there. Repeater, bulldog. Or badger repeater on the wing. Two badger repeaters up above on a gimbal. We got another badger repeater on the other wing. And then up here we have two size 1 repeaters, bulldogs on a nose gimbal. So I have high hopes for this thing here. So yeah, what you were watching earlier is just the, uh, again, for those that are just now joining. Normally what you see with that previous feed, that is the um, uh, view coming out of my desktop. This is more what it looks like inside of my headset and what the, you know, kind of zoom and feel I'm looking at is. That's a Connie right there. Thank you. Please All right. Well, beautiful sunset, but we got to get going to space. What the hell? Oh, do I need to set up the landing gear to get maneuverability? Yes, I do. Landing gear. Great. I don't have my pips again either. We don't need them though. Okay, hang on. We're gonna try something a little bit different here. Shields hit. All right, so we can set this up into a little bit different of a mode here. I hit this button. That's auto gimbals, and then that is free gimbal, and then combine that with free look. And now, now we are talking. All right, let's get back in there. Out of missiles. Not sure if I'm getting the right hits off on him. There we go. That was a good strafe. Come on, 
lights. Come on. Come on. Okay, that hammerhead's starting to get shots on me. I need to get out of here. And drag them into space. Some results now. Surgical with these auto guns. You know what? I'll finish them off myself. We're like falling the exact same speed as him. Alright, we got another target here. Now, this should be finally easier. the other guy. Yeah. All right, finally. Now we can get out of here real quick. Get our shields back up and then focus on our dude. This should be a lot easier the way we're about to play this, though. Alright, decouple. We're going in. Okay. This is where it all comes together here. If I can get close enough to a big enough target, the uh, slight offset won't matter here. Shields. We just need to actually start our circle strafe up here. Got it. All right, I think we got it in a nice pattern. Just gotta hold this and just keep it up. Yeah, we're recharging shields now. Ground here. He's about to hit the floor. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh, I couldn't control it. We were both spiraling downwards towards the planet for forever. Christ. I didn't realize it till the last. Alright, stop jousting, you piece of crap. There you go. All right, and one more. Last one. 
it's definitely a lot of fun getting all nitty gritty with the um, uh, flying and the shooting with the lasers. However, I will say that much more to my style, I like to uh, slam them with a big torpedo from 10 clicks away. Size one missiles are garbage. You can't hit crap. Target but when you get plenty of shots on target, they definitely go down like a bag of hammers. Do we still have? No, I think those are just missiles. I think we are done. Yep, full bounty completed. All right, folks, I'm gonna get back to Grim Hex, and then I think I'm gonna call it a night for Star Citizen. I might play some Stardius or something else for a little bit, but we're done flying. If you're checking this out as a highlight on YouTube, thank you so much for flying and uh, dying with me tonight. We're gonna be doing some more of the uh, flight combat stuff. Basically, until um, uh, the IAAE Expos arrive. Then we'll be doing my VR tours where I walk through the Expo floor, read all the little info panels on all the stuff, and uh, have a jolly good time. So stick around for that, and thank you guys so much for all the support and doing all the voodoo that you do out there. Uh, bit by bit. Day by day, video by video, we seem to be growing here, so I'm gonna try to keep up that momentum. Oh my gosh, Grim Hex, Jesus. But yeah, you guys are awesome, basically. Long story short, y'all are amazing. Ooh, mama, and down. Nice. Cool, man. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to reload repair here, and then I think I'm going to get up out of the chair. Thank you guys so much for dropping by again. And doing all the voodoo that you do. And till next time, as always, stay safe and fly right.